In this video, we'll write the net ionic equation for BaCl2 plus Na2CO3, barium chloride, and sodium carbonate. First thing we need to do is balance the molecular equation here. So the molecular equation looks like if we just put a 2 as our coefficient here, that's balanced. Next, we need to write the states for each substance. Chlorides, those are very soluble, so we're going to put an AQ, aqueous, dissolved in water, and then sodium compounds, also very soluble. So those will be aqueous. Barium carbonate, carbonates are often soluble, but let's look this up on a solubility table here. So on our table, we find barium, which is right here. And then we're looking at carbonate here. We go across and down, and we see that I there. That I means it's insoluble. It won't dissolve in water. So when we have these two substances react, they'll produce an insoluble compound. And that'll be a solid, and that solid will fall to the bottom of the test tube as a precipitate. Sodium chloride, chlorides, and sodium, both very soluble. Put AQ there. So those are the states. Next, we're going to split the strong electrolytes apart into their ions, and this will be the complete ionic equation. So the strong electrolytes, those are the ones with AQ after them. So on the periodic table, barium's in group 2, that has a 2 plus ionic charge, and chlorine, the chloride ion, that's 1 minus. So we have Ba, 2 plus, plus Cl minus. And this 2 means that we have two of these. And I'm not going to write aqueous each time, we'll write that in at the end. Plus sodium, that has a plus charge, it's in group 1, so it's 1 plus. Carbonate, 2 minus, that's a good one. To remember the CO3, the carbonate ion, has a 2 minus ionic charge. So we have Na plus, and we have subscript of 2, so that means we have two of these. We put a 2 in front here, and then we have the carbonate ion, CO3, 2 minus. These are the reactants. Let's do the products. So this barium carbonate here, BaCO3, we said that's a solid. It's at the bottom of the test tube, so it's not going to be split apart into ions. So we just write BaCO3, and that's it. It's a solid. We don't split apart solids, liquids, or gases in net ionic equations. And we said sodium was positive or negative. So we have two of those sodium ions plus chloride ion, Cl minus. We have two of those as well. This two applies to everything. So this is the complete or total ionic equation. Now we can cross out spectator ions. These are ions that are on both sides. They're in the reactants and in the products. Essentially, they haven't changed, so we're not really interested in those. Have 2Cl minus here and 2Cl minus here. Cross them out. Two sodium ions in the reactants and two in the products. We cross those out. And that leaves us with the net ionic equation. So that's Ba2 plus and our carbonate ion. And then we end up with this solid barium carbonate. So I'll clean this up and then write it out nice and we'll have our net ionic equation for BaCl2 plus Na2CO3. And this is the net ionic equation for barium chloride plus sodium carbonate. This is Dr. B and thanks for watching.